Rivian 2 just announced that it is joining the bi-directional EV charging club. If you're in the process of looking at solar power and battery storage options for your home and you're planning on buying an electric vehicle or if you already have an electric vehicle, then stop here and you're going to want to watch this video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rivian R1T and R1S and how Rivian is one of the latest companies to announce bi-directional vehicle charging. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now guys, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with a home, renewable energy systems, solar power, battery backup systems, uh, sometimes even generator systems as well. Uh, you'll find product reviews and comparisons, uh, as well as new product launch announcements uh, and announcements of new features and technologies as they come onto the marketplace. Now in today's video we're looking at the Rivian R1T and R1S as it is now one of the latest electric vehicle manufacturers to announce that it will be supporting bi-directional vehicle charging. Now I know that many of you on the Solar Surge channel have been actively researching solar power and battery storage options for your home, but what you may not be aware of is that now electric vehicle manufacturers are starting to allow a capability to use the electric vehicle battery uh, as battery storage for the home. Uh, Ford probably made the largest announcement and, and the largest buzz last year when they announced that the new all-electric Ford F-150 would be including what they called Ford Intelligent Backup Power, which is very simply uh, the ability not only to be able to charge electricity from the home into the vehicle battery, but during a time of, of emergency or during a grid blackout to be able to actually draw from the vehicle battery to energize the home. Now, of course, if you're a solar home, then you could also interface the solar panels with the, the vehicle battery so that if you had an extended blackout, not only could you draw off the battery, but you could have the solar recharge the battery and then draw off the battery the next night. And you could, you could repeat that cycle as long as you need until utility power is restored. Now, one of the reasons why this is important for those that are considering electric vehicles, whether it be the Rivian, which is on my personal shopping list for the R1S model, uh, or any of the other leading brands like Ford or Tesla or General Motors, uh, they're all now promising this bi-directional vehicle charging capability, which is important because if, if you're looking at the solar investment now, um, it may not make sense for you to add a separate solar home battery now if the electric vehicle is something that you're planning on adding in the future and you're okay leaving that vehicle parked to, to be plugged into the home if you needed it to get you through uh, a blackout. I mean, one of the, the reasons I mentioned is just because it, it can save you a lot of cash. You know, a, today's home battery backup systems typically range anywhere between fifteen and thirty thousand uh, dollars on top of what just the base cost of getting your solar panels installed are. So if you're already going to be making the investment in an electric vehicle, and by the way, a big part of the cost of the electric vehicle is the battery pack. It's probably the, the most expensive single component in the vehicle is the battery pack. Uh, it may not make sense for you to, to spend again to have a separate home battery pack. So it could, you know, could save you a lot and again help your solar investment pay for itself faster. The other thing that's noteworthy though is that these electric vehicle batteries have massive capacity compared to today's home batteries. I mean let's look at the Rivian uh, here as an example. If I just take the base, uh, the base model here, or, or sorry, the, the middle model, uh, it has a 135 kilowatt hour battery. Now compare that with today's Tesla home battery. The Tesla Powerwall has a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery versus 135 kilowatt hours for a mid-range Rivian battery. That means a mid-range Rivian truck has 10 times the battery capacity of today's Tesla Powerwall for the home. So again, you know, if you're looking at maybe avoiding some cost and getting a much, much more higher capacity battery that could run your whole house for several days, versus a small battery for just critical loads backup only, yeah, it, it's just something that you should, you should consider. Um, most of my clients, at the end of the day, most of my clients and myself included, you know, we do choose to install battery storage with our solar system. And that's because our, our goal is really to be totally energy independent 
uh, and to be able to survive a long-term disruption to the power grid. Uh, but for those of you that are preparing for you know, shorter term, more frequent but shorter term power outages, like you know, a couple days being down from a hurricane or a tornado, then again, the vehicle to home battery uh, technology is something that you may wanna take a look at. Well, folks, as always, if, if you're getting good value from the information that we're putting out here on Solar Surge, please be sure to click on the like button. Uh, and also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Right now, we're trying to get two to three new videos out every week for you guys, really just making sure that you're keeping up to date with all the latest developments and all the latest technology uh, here in the solar industry. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner out there and you're in the process of evaluating solar options for your home specifically, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe if you already have a price quote, you just want to get a comparison, make sure that you're getting the best deal. Uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to our website so you can schedule a short, uh, short virtual meeting with one of our experts here and really just kind of talk through what your needs are and, and, and what the options would be for you. Uh, one of the nice things about working with Solar Surge is that uh, our process is completely virtual. Uh, we're not going to send somebody out into your home. We're not going to do any kind of you know, high pressure you know, sales tactics and all that. Um, our goal here is to really just you know, provide the best education and really make sure that you as a potential solar homeowner are making a well-educated, well-informed decision so you can get the equipment that's going to best meet your needs. Well, folks, I thank you again for taking some time to spend with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.